By the oracle he was judged, and judgment was brutal. Yet he isn't discouraged, since he understands that satisfaction is poison for the true hero anyway. He knows that he needs to acquire new abilities, that he needs to increase his powers, if he ever wanted to stand a chance during the adventures to come. And so, the schooling begins. I got some What is up ladies and gentlemen, Manny here, welcome back to the battlegrounds, the mission today is clear, we gotta climb a 7B plus bowler, listen up, yeah, let that sink in, sounds great huh, 7B plus, last time we only got a 7B, this session was on Saturday, it's two days ago, or actually three days ago, I had two rest days in between, which I needed, believe it or not, to recover from my crazy freaking forearm muscle ache that I had after this session, after only climbing a freaking measly 7B. So today is the day, we're gonna improve that result. I spare you the details on the warm-up routine, which I already completed, one mobilizing session, and a couple of hangs, only 45 for itself. And now I'm gonna try something new, I'm gonna actually put my socks on and do a couple of moves, so to say, barefooted on this wall. Why am I doing this? I'm basically saving shoe time, okay? My feet are now really not accustomed to tight climbing shoes like I have. Unfortunately, I don't have any low performance climbing shoes which are a little bit softer, a little bit wider, which are a little bit more comfortable to wear, okay? These Scarpa Instinct VS, they are quite tight and my feet are not used to that at the moment. So I wanna spare some shoe time. I'm gonna get on the wall, on the wall real quickly and do some barefoot moves. Really interesting, this kind of training. It really uh, put some pressure on your big toes, you know. You get a kind of good, you know, foot strength in a sense, because you need to activate your foot much, much more actively, of course, compared to when you have the support of a tight, stiff climbing shoe, right? So I can imagine that doing this for a while could even break you, you know, could even get you to another level in terms of your stepping skills and you know, the ability to hold body strength on really small footholds. So. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. I fear we need a rubber heel for this. So that's really interesting, you know, certain moves are much harder without climbing shoes. On some moves it doesn't really make a difference, yeah? but on some moves, on the other hand, it just makes a crazy big difference. So let's see how it works with climbing shoes. Climbing shoe needed on the right side only. Interesting. 7A was no real challenge today. That means we have to progress to the 7A plus. First of all, we're gonna do a no shoe attempt, of course. Yeah? Let's try that. It should be interesting on this folder as well. This is actually the main uh, advantage of having a rubber shoe on, the friction part, okay? If it's just about getting into, you know, physical edges and that kind of stuff, your toes are pretty good and pretty accurate with that as well. But of course your toes can't really give you friction, at least not the friction that a rubber shoe can give you, huh? But anyway, this one, this one is possible. We're gonna try this one again. Plus barefoot. This is what we're talking about here. You remember the camel peel from last time? Okay, this was limit thing, limit stuff last time. Today we're gonna try barefooted. Although I will predict that we're gonna need the left climbing shoe for this one. Okay, because of a certain single move. We will see. Let's try it first completely barefoot. Pretty cool. 
close. We got further than expected. I would have thought that I could never step this guy without a climbing shoe. Because it's so slippery, but that move worked. And then we kind of lost power at the last move. Why? I don't know. Okay. Psyched. Next try. Barefoot. Who would have thought that? <sighs> okay, next stop 7B plus. And I thought about the 7B plus. This one should actually be more possible barefoot than the 7B. There's not really any uh, sophisticated stepping in there. It's rather really straightforward climbing. This is one of the crux moves of the border, the jump to the pink hinge. But I must say I'm already pretty happy that I stuck the first one on the white pinch. It's actually pretty cool that you can step even the very small uh, wooden screw-ons just with the tip of your big toe. <laughs> this is actually super good big toe foot muscle exercise I would say. Yeah. So yeah, just gotta get the specific strength back for this little crimp there to be able to jump to the white pinch. I think I have chances here. Let's give it another try. A little rest and another try. Big toes get already tired, I feel. a centimeter higher and we have got it. Okay, one more try. Be stupid to give up now. I'm gonna give it one more attempt. Although my skin is already pretty taxed, as well as my forearms, I can already feel the muscle ache creeping in again. Doesn't matter, this one has to go down today. That was stupidly done. Just got the completely wrong momentum on the dyno. Turns out that I think I need a climbing shoe for the very last move. Because normally you can do this really elegant back step, this drop knee on the edge of the head with the left hand before. And this way do the last move kinda slowly. But now since I don't I basically have zero support from this foothold, I really have to jump for the last move. And that makes it really contact strengthy and very uh, hard. <laughs> I forgot my foot at the top. It's actually pretty tricky to, to hit it on the first swing back. Yeah, exactly. You jump for it and then you need to hit the, actually the pinch 
Ah, and then you do this kind of bicycle move and match it. In the name of injury prevention, we're not gonna try it again now because I'm already pretty taxed, I would say, but that was a successful session, man. I'm pretty impressed by the uh, no climbing shoe performance. Uh, this is definitely an option to spare some climbing shoe time, okay? And this is, of, of course, good for training your toes and also for saving your wallet, you know, because climbing shoes get really used off in climbing gyms. So, yeah, if you have a wall like this where you're allowed to climb with socks, okay? I know that here nobody really cares. I don't either. With If it's with socks and not completely barefoot, okay? So, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this more often, maybe. Anyway, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know if you liked the video, subscribe, all the good stuff, blah 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 blah. Stay strong, keep crushing, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.